it's not a radical position at this point in American history to say that uh, decriminalization or, um, uh, or legalization ought to occur. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and we're at Seattle's Hemp Fest, and we're talking to Representative Dennis Kucinich, Democrat of Ohio. Thanks for talking to us. Good to be here. What is your take on marijuana legalization? Is, uh, are we coming towards a moment where that's going to happen? I think the answer is yes, because the cost of enforcing these laws is prohibitive, because it's been proven it's not a gateway drug, uh, because... Uh, you know, the American people are mature enough to be able to make their own choices. This is one area where the government really should not be concerned about what people are smoking. Uh, as, as a health problem, uh, that's a separate issue, but uh, if somebody has a drug problem, that should be a matter of, uh, of hospitalization, not incarceration. But I, I think America has, has grown to understand that this intervention through surveillance and through spying on people who our, our, our users of marijuana, that, that has to stop. Is this going to be a bipartisan uh, victory when uh, marijuana legalization takes place? You've worked with people like Ron Paul on the other side of the aisle. Who are the best allies in the Republican Party to push this forward? There's a number of libertarians on both sides of the aisle who understand that this is something that we shouldn't be knocking our heads into a wall about. It's, uh, it's not a radical position at this point in American history to say that uh, decriminalization or, um, uh, or legalization ought to occur. Um, it, it's not, you know, I don't see it as a, as a big deal. You've talked about uh, how in order for social change to happen, people have to go out in the streets, they have to make themselves visible Absolutely. the way that the civil yeah. rights did. Would you, are you prepared to talk about your use of marijuana or your use of illegal drugs as a way of, of spurring people to be confident about telling their stories? I'm probably the wrong person to ask to come forward and testify yeah. because I had never smoked. Yeah. And I mean, anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I just don't smoke. But to me, I see this as a personal freedom issue. And just because, you know, whether I smoked or not, uh, I can still take a stand for personal freedom. Thanks. Thank you.